Hey everyone, I am back and in today's video I am going to be reviewing a whole bunch of products for um, autumn and this will be my autumn um, or fall tasting and I'm not sure if you guys know but autumn is my favorite time of the year. I love autumn, I love apple picking, I love pumpkins, all that stuff and it also happens that my birthday is the first day of autumn every year, September 22nd so it really adds to me loving the season. So what I did is I got some really good samples of different drinks and I'm going to be reviewing them um, because I know that Thanksgiving is coming up and that for Thanksgiving um, I personally like to try new things and I like to get products that are perfect for autumn and uh, fitting for the season. So starting off I have got the um, Suja Mold Apple Cider which was in the organic section at Wegmans. For the mornings, I have uh, the Better Half um, Dairy-Free Coconut Cream and Almond Milk Creamer, which is delicious. And I have the Evan Williams Kentucky Cider that I've never tried before, but it is a spiced uh, cider made in Kentucky with uh, their bourbon whiskey, and they add all kinds of uh, spices to it, and they make it taste delicious. I'm going to be doing a tasting of that. And the other bottle of wine that I've got from... Um, Tomasello uh, Winery when I did the um, trapeze yoga. It's their spiced apple wine and I, it was delicious so I bought a bottle of it. So this wine is actually very similar to my previous uh, video when I did the um, Halloween special. And for that video I showed you guys my technique where I took um, a coffee pot and I turned the coffee pot on um, without any filter in it, without any water, and I used the uh, burner at the bottom to warm the wine up. That's how you want to warm this up. You don't want to boil it on a stove top. Uh, don't do that. You don't want to overboil it, but just warm up, warm it up on a coffee pot and serve it warm. And you could do the same thing with the uh, Kentucky cider if you pour a lot of it. But um, this is really good chilled, and I prefer my whiskey chilled. Also, you guys get to hear my catchphrase because um, everyone's been waiting to hear this. One of the things that I always say, because um, all these things are vegan that I have here. But in my previous videos when I did cooking, a lot of vegans like kale, and I always say that kale is not a, be a vegan's best friend, wine is. That is really true. Wine is a vegan's best friend. Remember that. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get set up. I'm going to get a glass for the cider. I'm going to get a glass for the uh, whiskey. And then I'm going to heat this up over a coffee pot so I can do a tasting of it in a wine glass. So I will see you guys in a few seconds and I'll be back to do the review and tasting. All right, so I am back and I recently warmed up the wine uh, in a coffee pot. And I just wanted to clarify um, on my technique with warming up the wine. You don't always have to serve this warm. It's just recommended because you do get the most out of the flavors when it's warm. It's, very, um, it's a very good uh, comforting thing to have a nice warm glass of apple wine. Um, you can serve it cold and that's fine too. Um, I have found though that in the winter time, when it is chillier out, it's really relaxing to have a warmer glass of it. And that was the whole point of what I learned at my wine tasting. So I'm gonna just do like a little tasting of this first with the wine because I think the wine is one of the best ones to start with because the whiskey is a lot stronger. And just from like smelling it, it smells really, um, spicy it smells like cinnamon it kind of has like a hint of cloves and the apple comes through so i'm going to try this just cold to see if i notice the difference and the color of it is really deep it's like a almost like an apple juice color like a dark yellow very fruity a little acidic but very sweet and it goes down extremely smooth so I warmed it up. And when warmed, it tastes very, um, it has a really nice flavor of autumn. It's very spicy. The cinnamon comes through a lot when it's warm and it has a nice warmer uh, apple taste to it. It kind of reminds me of like a very warm apple pie. And this would pair very well with a more um, earthier dish. So like a squash dish or a stuffed acorn squash or a sweet potato dish. Or even anything pumpkin. 
Um, if you really wanted to, you could probably serve this with a dessert, with like um, an apple dessert, if you really wanted to match apples with apples. Um, but personally, I would pair it with um, either like a, a dark chocolate. I think that would taste nice. Or with the dinner, like a nice warm meal. Which this is delicious. Okay, so up next is the um, Evan Williams uh, Spiced Cider. And so up next is the uh, Evan Williams Kentucky uh, Cider. And I'm going to open this up. Oh, wow. It smells really uh, apple-like, and it has a very nice uh, spicy scent to it. It has like a cinnamon scent with some uh, anise, and I smell a hint of cloves. I'm not sure what's in here but the apple definitely comes through. You could serve this warmer iced. I prefer iced, so right over ice, I'm gonna pour it. And this too also looks just like the wine. It's very um, dark in color. It's like a dark yellow. So I'm gonna see how strong this is. And it's really smooth actually, wow. I thought it was gonna be like a very strong um, bourbon, and this is very light, it's not strong. It goes down your throat smoothly. It doesn't hurt to go down. Um, and for something that is pretty strong, uh, 34 proof, 70% alcohol by volume, that is pretty impressive. What you could do is when you make a really good sangria, you can actually pour the wine in there and you can mix this and make a delicious sangria. Um, and put some uh, apple cider in there and you'll have a very strong um, apple alcoholic drink that is phenomenal. So next up, I'm going to be trying the uh, Suja um, Organic Mold Cider. And this is loaded with all kinds of delicious herbs. Um, it's got vanilla, carrots in there, orange. Um, it does have honey in it, so it is not vegan. Um, I know some vegans eat honey and some don't. I personally love honey. So I'm gonna give it a good shake, and I wanna see how it smells. It's cold, it's also cold pressed, and it has no GMOs in it. Mmm. It actually smells really like, it smells like carroty. And it's very dark in color like a cider. But it tastes very refreshing. This tastes like apple pie in a glass. It doesn't taste like cider, like because I know some ciders that are heavily processed with the sugar, you'll go to drink the cider and it ends up tasting disgusting and you feel like you have that sugar taste in your mouth. With the Suja mold apple cider, you don't. It tastes um, very herbal. It has a lot of uh, spices to it and it tastes like a juice, but it's refreshing and not uh, draining. You don't feel like you have to run and go get a glass of water. So I like that. Um, it really is a good drink. And there definitely is a hint of vanilla. But I like what Suja is, this is the first time I've had them, is that you know exactly what's in the drink. It's nothing artificial, it's nothing you don't know. And the fact that it's cold pressed and non-GMO is really good because to find both of those can be a bit of a pain. And I found this really local. It also is safe if you have celiac, which is good. Lastly, um, it's the Khalifa Farms Better Half. Um, they're half and half, and I'm just gonna take a cap full of this. And it is delicious. Um, it has a very light, uh, nutty taste to it. It's um, not sweetened, so you don't have to worry about putting extra sugar into your diet. Um, it, it is soy free and it's carrageen free, which is the seaweed. It has a coconutty flavor, but the almond is there. So when you wake up in the morning, you can put this in your coffee and it has that really nice autumny taste with the nuts and the earthy flavors of autumn. Because when you're doing uh, wines and um, foods for autumn, a lot of the earthy foods and the apple foods and the pumpkins are big uh, flavor wise. I will say though that some of these uh, products can carry over into winter because that's what I like about autumn foods and the flavors of autumn is that their spices and all that can carry right over to winter. You could take the spiced wine right here and you could warm it up for winter and it is perfect. 
at least what I like to do, is because when it snows, I always get stuck with having to shovel the snow. So what I'll do is after I'm all done shoveling and I'm worn out from the day, I make a delicious meal, usually like a flatbread, a flatbread with some balsamic on it, fresh vegetables, and um, with kale on it. And I'll sit in front of a, you know either the TV or just relaxing with family or friends, and I'll take uh, my apple wine and I'll uh, warm it up and I'll serve a warmed apple wine with the flatbread I made or with the uh, dishes I made. And this will pair with just about any kind of winter meal. Um, and it works for winter as well as autumn, so I like that. Autumn is one of the seasons that I wish would be uh, here 24-7. I love the season, I love the holidays, I love Thanksgiving. Um, speaking of which, for Thanksgiving, I think that all of these would be uh, perfect for a Thanksgiving meal. You could have the suja for uh, people at the Thanksgiving that are under 21. You could have the uh, apple wine for um, everyone at the table and even some of the bourbon. Or, like I said, you can combine the suja um, cider, you can combine the apple wine and the um, uh, whiskey, and you can make a really delicious apple, uh, sp spiced apple cider uh, sangria, and actually put real apple pieces in there, and that really helps to give it a good flavor. Last year, I did a sangria where I kind of took a different tweak on it, where I did, um, it was vodka, um, triple sec, and apples, and this year I'm thinking of combining the apple wine and the um, uh, apple bourbon with the cider to make a really good sangria. So with that said, I hope you guys will try that and try that as like a recipe and see how it goes. For Thanksgiving, which is coming up, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing a video or not um, because normally when it's a holiday, I'm gonna do all the cooking. I love to cook. However, I really wanna focus on enjoying it with my family and my friends. So therefore, I don't have to worry about trying to put together this whole like giant video. But then again, when I do videos, I'm the kind of person that when mistakes happen, they happen. Um, I don't try to like pre-script anything. I just do it all in a run. I hope you guys like this though on um, different flavors of autumns, different uh, products that um, you could use for autumn or uh, buy. I recommend all of these. I would rate them, honestly, a perfect five out of five for each, which is normally not, normally doesn't happen, but they really were good quality products and I was actually really satisfied with what I purchased. So I want you guys um, to comment down below, what are your favorite wines, or alcohols, or um, drinks for uh, the autumn? Tell me what you guys do. If you guys have a special drink, put your recipe down below. I'm going to put my recipe down below in the comment box of what I'm going to do with mixing the um, suja, apple wine, and uh, whiskey. And that will be that. But actually, because I have these all laid out, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mix this right now. So I have my suja right here. I'm gonna pour some apple wine in there. And I'm gonna pour some of the uh, bourbon in there and I wanna see how it tastes. Wow, it tastes just like apple pie in a glass. That was really good. So um, I'm gonna go now, but like, comment, hit that subscribe button down below. Let me know what you guys are doing for Thanksgiving. Let me know what you're thankful for. And like I said below, if you have a drink recipe, post it right down below, I wanna hear from you guys. And even if it's a Thanksgiving recipe that's vegan or just plant-based, put it on down below and I'll uh, try to make it maybe for Thanksgiving and see how I like it. Because for Thanksgiving, I'm gonna be making stuffed acorn squash. I'm gonna be making a chocolate cake. And I'm going to be making a lot of the side dishes. And even though I don't eat meat, I'm going to be helping to make the turkey, which I think is humorous. And remember, guys, before I go, that kale is not a vegan's best friend. Wine is. Have a wonderful and a very happy, healthy Thanksgiving, everyone. And to all of my viewers, you guys are awesome.